Alright, I'm Ben Eddy from 10th Planet San Francisco. Giovanni Martini, 10th Planet Vista. And today you're going to be learning the Hindu routine. Now, there's two, there's two ways to get to Hindu routine. One is if his head's off to this side, then I'm going to hip up and put my elbow on top. Put my elbow all the way on top of the leg and then swing it back. You have to get your hand around the shoulder. That's the key right here. Don't try and put your hand, don't try and put your hand in here. You have to swing it around past the shoulder. This right here is just called the Hindu control. When you're in uh, Hindu control, there's a few different options. The main one being the choke. So the other way that you get to Hindu control is from me hook. So we're in uh, we're in mission control. We go me hook, and then we wrap around the foot, all the way past the shoulder, right into Hindu control. Okay. So with a uh, with a choke on Hindu control. You really want to try and it really doesn't matter where his head's at because I don't I don't need his head. Um, underneath my armpit for this choke because my leg is on top. So his head could be all the way over here. It really doesn't matter. The main thing that matters is lifting, lifting up your elbows. See how I just lift my elbows up? Main thing, the choke is a, your, your hand's gonna face you, your other hand's gonna grip, reverse cable, and then you're just gonna lift. You're just gonna lift both elbows up. Nice and slow, control. Now, once we're in hand control, we can either go straight for the straight for the choke. Or we can start to work the arm for an arm bar. Or if we go to the choke and he starts to defend the choke, then I can kick through to a triangle. And I like to go reverse triangle first because it's just right there. There's no switching. It's got really good posture control. So I always go reverse triangle first before I switch to a full triangle. Sometimes I don't have full guard. Sometimes let's say he's maybe he's passing a little bit and I get I get right here. And whereas traditional meat hook First on me hook it, it, it kind of has some problems here. So um, if, if Geo starts to try and, and pass me here, it's it's kind of hard for me to stop him. Um, it's just me hook like so you keep passing, keep passing, pass all the way through. Right here you just can't hold on to it anymore. You're gonna have to let go, and he's gonna be passed. All right. Whereas with Hindu team, again me hook. Put your elbow right on top, right on top of the top of your foot. Switch it around. Right here, now, if he passes, if he passes that bottom leg, it's fine. It really doesn't matter. It's just like the Marcel team. If he pa this is not the side he's supposed to pass. He's got to pass this side to take off the pressure. So if he passes here, it really doesn't matter. I got the choke right here, no problem. So back here. 
So that's a big reason why I like Meat Hook, or like uh, Hindu Control over Meat Hook. The other reason I really like it is, um, let's say I'm really good at this pressure here, I'm about to go for the triangle, he feels that, so he's going to pressure down with his shoulder and go omoplata on me, right? I can't, I can't keep this triangle because he's going the other way, so then I have to go omoplata. Omoplata is hard to finish, it's a hard game to play. So again, that's why I looked for something when I'm in this position, I want something that's going to keep this head stuck here so he can't turn around. And that's, that's why I started playing this Hindu control is because here, if, I, if I'm here and I kick out the triangle, he can't go anywhere. He can't go out. He can't, he can't get away. He's stuck right here. The guy takes a shot in. Immediately thrown over. And you're just going to really quickly pass the hand off. Just really quickly. You're just like this. Pass it off. Okay, you got to be quick here. So I just wanted to cover a couple things about um, uh, flexibility because I hear from a lot of people that, that uh, they're just not flexible enough to do it. And I feel like out of most moves I do, like this one, you really don't need that much flexibility. If you can, if you, if you can bring your foot right here, you can do the move. That's it. That's really all you need. And it's actually one of the easier moves on the knee because you have to stay here the whole time. If your knees. It's, it's un unlike the other ones where your knee's just like kind of hanging out and you're tweaking your foot. Your knee has to stay to your chest. So I just want to show you a couple things. So um, one thing I see people do wrong is if you're going if you're going this route, they don't put their elbow all the way on top. Put your elbow all the way on top. The other thing is. Um, if you're going the knee hook route, don't try and just from here, don't try and just like put your hand straight in. Never really do that. You're, you're looping around the foot until you get past the shoulder and then you're bringing it in to this control spot. Now when you're here, hug your knee. Hug your knee the whole time and keep your knee in. See, this is, this is like basic, look, mission control, can do it my leg didn't even move. If you can do mission control, you can do hindulity. All right? So the whole time, hug your knee. Keep your knee tight. And just get on the side of your hip. And then it takes even less flexibility. The more you are on the side of your hip, because remember, it doesn't even matter if you pass my guard. OK? So I can go out on the side of my hip as much as I want. Now just make a hole, grab it, and you grab the So. If, if you're having a problem with flexibility, it's it's probably because you're not getting the move right. Enjoy. Cut there. Cut. Cut. Yeah, do the 